happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. This is Speech Eats. I'm Taylor Western and I'm a speech therapist. So today I wanted to make a simple smoothie. I'm actually using blue food coloring because we're making the blue milk smoothie from Star Wars, or the blue milk drink, in honor of Star Wars Day because it's May the 4th. You could also do blueberries. I prefer to do blueberries, but I didn't have any, so we're using what we have. Smoothies are a great thing to do with your kids because you can get a lot of fruits and vegetables in. Um, that can, it's sweet, so kids will like them. I also like it because you can add breakfast essential for kiddos that are having trouble gaining weight, adding whole fat Greek yogurt. It's just a great way to make sure your kids are getting those calories in, getting those fruits and veggies in. So I started in with one ripe banana. I like ripe bananas because they're less constipating for kids, and then I also like them because um, they are sweeter, so kids are more likely to like them, and they're just easier to digest. So we're gonna put one banana in. I'm also gonna do a handful of spinach. Spinach is gonna bring out that blue color, and I, what I like about it is that spinach doesn't have a lot of flavor. A lot of times kids see green and go, oh my goodness, I don't like it. But you put it in a smoothie and the kids tend to love it because it's not big flavor. So I put about a handful of, of uh, fresh spinach. I'm gonna add some coconut pineapple milk. I'm just gonna pour that in. A lot of times I, a lot of times I have a lot of bananas that are left over, so I put them in banana bread, in a just um, banana muffins, banana cake, because you can substitute one banana for an egg. But I also, what I like to do is just put bananas in the freezer because when you put ice into smoothies, it melts and um, kind of melts and takes the flavor out. So that's why I like doing just a frozen banana so it's not gonna suck from the taste. And then I'm gonna take some, some frozen mango and I'm gonna pour that in. And this will just be a great breakfast drink. And then for the fun part, I'm gonna add just a couple of drops of blue food coloring. Now, we're gonna start it. We might have to adjust the blue to make sure it gets that true blue color. I tend to pick, um, recommend whole milk for kiddos when they're younger. Um, you can, if they're not dairy, you can do an almond milk or coconut milk. Coconut milk is good for the calorie part. And I just put a splash. I would do about, oh, fourth of a cup of milk. coloring that spinach is kind of dominating the color this now the smoothie with the blue and the green with just the spinach um, which is the two uh, two drops will be good for a um, slime or Halloween spooky smoothie but for Star Wars that we want that true blue I think our smoothie is ready so I have my glass here might add one more drop of blue. So I'd say about four squirts of blue for this smoothie. Okay. And we're done. We got our bright blue smoothie. All right. May the fourth be with you. Oh my goodness, your kids are gonna love this. It's sweet. It's pineapple and banana, and you can taste the coconut with that smoothie. Now, if you don't have pineapple coconut juice, use orange juice, use what you have in your fridge. I, I just, that's what I did. I had pineapple coconut juice, and I thought that would be really great with the mango. This is delicious. It's that tropical feel that's perfect for a spring day or May, the fourth day. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.